if you do get muddy, if, if just clean your brush every now and again. I might even introduce a touch of light red just to get it that really sort of autumnal feel to it, and then. There's a, there's a little bit of land that sort of juts out into the water. It sort of comes around. Comes around like that. And then a few little reflections. Two little rocks and little, some little stones just lying around. Plus, it also helps separate the, the sort of land area from the water. I'll do for that. Clean the brush again. I'm just going to pull this paper tight again because it's, it's still not quite flat. So, just refixing it with these clips and we're ready to go again. Okay. Foreground. The foreground. The easiest way of doing a foreground, I find. Now, there is a bit more green in this, so. Lighter um, raw sienna. I want to give raw sienna a bit of ultramarine, lemon yellow, just a bit of bit of everything, and then it's a very quick sweep, sweep around. And then for the uh, the reed, just just pull up. Just flick up to create some reeds. And then really a few really dark names, sort of burnt umber. Ultramarine, going really dark, and then just now I'll just switch to the uh, back first. I'll put a few more. You can't really see them in the picture, but a few little stones and rocks. But isn't gonna think they're worth or anything. Try not to overdo it. If you do overdo it like that, you can always delete them. Right, back into the dark mix, burnt umber, ultramarine, and just paint straight over them. Just paint over them until you've got rid of the excess and you like what's left. You can always use a fingernail, a few little Scratch a few reeds out here and there, and then all switch to number three rigger into the dark mix. Plenty of water for this, whenever you're using this brush, you always need to lots of water. And then flick a, flick a few more. Few real tall ones up. A 
even move the fingernail. Uh, there's not a boat. I'll just give that a quick dry before I do anything else. What it's missing is a focal point. These sort of scenes. I like to just stick a little boat somewhere sailing around. No boat in the picture, and to be honest, you don't get boats on this lake in the, in the King's Beach. Actually, no, I'm not going to do a boat. Sorry, I'll do a boat in the next one, or one one in the next few anyway. What I will do is have a couple of birds. Couple of birds flying. What should they for? Have? Should you just stick a fisherman in some like I don't know. Somewhere. Just stick someone down there. Um, all right, stick someone with a dog. You got a little dog. I don't know whether you can see that, but little dog on a lead. And then just some that can be our little focal point. And then on this side, pop your signature in the corner. Not right in the very corner because once it's mounted or framed, you won't be able to see it. And I think the only thing that's missing is I'll try and put the stronger tones in the right in the foreground. You can see this is too light, really. I just want it a bit darker, just a bit darker. Some of them rocks back in. There's a big one there. And then just paint over what you don't like. And I think I'll call that one finished. Just a nice simple scene in Kingsbury Water Park. I hope you like that. Keep practicing. Thanks for watching. Actually, before I go, I forgot to show the photo, didn't I? So just have a look at our finished painting. Oh well that's picking up off the screens. It's not the through the viewfinder it's not great, but you can see the general the general idea looking at the um the painting. We've got those a bit of blue on the left, we've got the whites of the main cloud and the darker underneath. And then we've got the layers. Starting with the most distant trees, putting with the same colours as the sky. See how the tone changes to stronger as we move closer towards the uh, the viewer's eye, and then always try and reserve the darkest tones for the foreground. We've got our little bloke in walking the dog as our uh, focal point, and that's just a simple impression of a. Uh, the water park there so i hope you like that thanks for watching keep practicing and i'll see you again soon